Stranger Delude came in middle of, early middle of Eugene O'Neill's career. But it was, at that time, the most experimental play that not only he, but probably any American playwright had done. Uh, because of his real interest in Freud and his interest in James Joyce, he both set out to explore a huge amount of the psychology of a woman and other characters that surround her, but also in using Joyce's stream of consciousness idea to have the characters speak and think their thoughts. So it, it was a major moment in, in American theater. This is a story about Nina Leeds, a quite extraordinary young woman who, a uh, fiancé is killed, uh, who's an aviator in World War I, is killed just th six days before the armistice. And so she goes through the rest of the play looking for both happiness, fulfillment, uh, sense of self over 30 years. And she becomes involved in three men. O'Neill, by having them speak their thoughts and then speak their language, gets you inside of the character. And sometimes they say something they don't mean, sometimes they're lying, sometimes they're lying to themselves. So they do things that might seem unpleasant but you understand the humanity about why. And that's why I think the audience is also vocally enjoying it. I don't know if audiences understand that they are the other character every night in a play, how they react, how they understand the play, how they behave with the play, changes the play every night. And although the play is always the same, it is on only enriched by the audience's response and reaction. It's been great to see this audience respond to this play that they don't know, but I think come away with thinking it's one of the best plays they've ever seen. I think they should expect to see a highly literate, highly intelligent, beautifully acted, and often very funny and moving piece of theater.